Hi again, here we are to continue the uh, Xcode video and we're working on our to-do app and what I want to do is I want to capture the date from the date picker. From the last video, you can see as I test my app here, when I go to the add to-do screen, I've got a date picker here and when I click on it, you know, the date picker shows up and what I want to do is set the date here and when I do, I want the date to appear in the field. So, looking at the to do, um, the add to do view controller, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the text field did begin editing. And in here, we create a date picker and set it as the input view for our text field. And what I want to do is I want to say date picker dot add target oops target and what this is going to do is this method is going to set up an event listener so the idea is that the date picker will be listening for events and when those events occur it's going to send a message to the target okay so uh, so this is waiting for an event and an event can be something like you know when you're choosing a date so when the value of the date picker changes to a different date then it will notify us through the target. So the target is going to be self. So the target is our view controller. And then the selector or the action here is a selector. And the selector is a function that we're going to call on that belongs to the target. Okay? So the selector here can actually just be a string. And I'm going to call it date picker changed. And then we need a colon at the end here. So it's going to be date picker changed colon. And the colon signifies that this method um, receives a parameter. And what it's going to be is, is, in this case with add target, the parameter is the date picker. So it'll pass the date picker that changed to the method date picker changed. Okay. And then it says for control events. So this is the name of the event that we're listening for. And if we put a dot here, it'll give us a list of all the events. And the one that we want is value changed. Okay. So there we go. So now we need to define a method called date picker changed. And so I'll just put it right below here. I'll say function, you know, just to even make sure I spell this right. I'll say, I'll just paste it. And then uh, let's just finish off the whole syntax there with the parentheses and the curly braces. And then the remember the colon I said signifies a parameter that this function is going to receive. So what we're going to do is we're going to type in um, sender colon UI date picker. Okay. Um, and it's, you know, it's just like this. So this is text field colon. You know, as you type UI text field, so this parameter receives a text field. Our parameter down here will receive a date picker. We could even change it from sender to date picker if you want. So now that we've got the, um, the, the date picker, you know, and we know that the value has changed, let's set the date, um, let's set the date as the text value in the text field. So what we'll do is we'll say, um, we need a, a text for, uh, date formatter first. So let's say let formatter equal UI, uh, no, no, actually it's NS date formatter. Okay, so here's a new date formatter. And um, then we'll say uh, formatter dot, um, what is it, uh, date style. And then there's a few built-in date styles. So we can set the date style to, you know, how about full style, right? You can be any style. You could even make a custom style. I'm just going to use one of the built-in ones. So now that we've got that, now we can set the, uh, we can create a string from the date and put that string into our date text. Okay, so we'll say date text dot text equals formatter dot date, no wait, uh, string from date. Okay. And then our date is coming from the sender. So we'll say sender dot date. Okay, so now let's let's try this out, right? Uh, we'll click the button here to test. And 
there's our app there it started and I'll click the plus button here and then we'll type a name in here it'll be you know bake this is something we have to do bake cake and then we'll click here for our date and I'll set the date to Thursday the 5th and you can see it says Thursday December 3rd wait yeah December 3rd 523 p actually this is, it doesn't show the time we could include the time if we change our formatter but uh, but anyway there's our there's our our um, our date picker right um, you know and just as a side note you know I created the um, the date value here and I use the default style for the text field right but you can make that any style you want so you know if you don't like this this outline here because it looks too much like an input field you know you can always just turn that off or you can make it a square you know if you choose this first one with the dotted line it'll turn that off and uh, it'll still work the same way so if I test it um, you know the style of this could be something different let's see there we go and uh, I'll go here and then I can just click on the date there and then I can type in a new date value right so this still needs some work um, but you know this should give you give you a basic idea of how we can work with the date um, and then thanks for watching